All right, here's one where we do have a coefficient of x squared. So we're going to have to take that first step and actually apply it on this one. So we're going to take, uh, it did say specifically in those instructions to divide both sides by 2. But um, that means you're going to have to divide all the terms by 2. We can't just divide the 2x squared by 2 and the 0 by 2. If we're going to keep this thing with the same value, we have to divide all of the terms by 2. Kind of as if it had common denominators, which is really what we're doing here. So that's going to change this now into x squared plus 7x minus 1 half equals 0. So we want that binomial, and we're going to have to or isolate all the x's by themselves. So we need to add 1 half to both sides. And we get an x squared plus 7x equals, that's a positive 1 half. So now we need to add to both sides the square. So we're going to square both of these. And we're going to cut them in half of, uh, yeah, we need the coefficient of x, which in this case is a positive 7. So we got 7 halves squared. Now this is one of those that's, that comes out, which is not a whole number there, right? In other words, I need to square, looking back at some exponent rules, I need to square the 7 and the 2 for that. The good news on this is that that 7 halves, like the negative 3 in the last example, is going to come back, all right? Now that we have that, uh, what I'm going to do is, just so I can add on the right side of the equal sign, I'm going to change this so that it has common denominators. I'm not going to change the value. I'm just going to scale it up to 2 fourths. Instead, it still has a value of 1 half, right? Now if I add those fractions, I get 51 fourths. And I, I can look... What the heck? And I can look to factor that uh, other side of the equation that, well, quadratic. Um, but again, if I look to split this up, 49 fourths, if I wanted two numbers, two factors of 49 fourths, then again, they're going to add up to 7. I would get 7 halves and 7 halves. And how did I know it was going to be 7 halves? Because that's the number inside the parentheses up here. So now I can, uh, I can factor that and make it a x plus 7 halves. That's squared because those were my two factors. And this now equals 51 fourths. And as usual, we're going to square root both sides of this thing. And we get the absolute value of x plus 7 halves, which is going to equal, I'm going to simplify this Square root of 51, no good. The square root of 4, though, is 2. Now let's go ahead and split this up. So over here, I've got x plus 7 halves equals the square root of 51 halves. And then over here, we've got x plus 7 halves equals the negative square root of 51 halves. So yeah, there's the work for that right there and now we're just going to add seven halves to both sides of both equations so i'm subtracting seven halves not add to both sides of both equations there we go um i'm okay on a test if you guys write it like this technically though and unfortunately i think on the homework they want it written as one term so in other words, we have common denominators for both of these, which is a half or two, uh, and we can make it one full fraction. So technically, and I guess a little bit more formally, this would be kind of considered more simplified. So just look to have it like this on the homework. If you guys did want to write it uh, like this, x equals negative 7, 
plus or minus the square root of 51 all over 2. It's the same thing.